You can start from nothing. Start from nothing, you know the story. Mom was a teenage mom. Start with nothing. Grandma had 14 kids. Start with nothing. Two bedroom house, one bathroom. Mom got kicked out because she had to start with nothing. Start with nothing, high school dropout. Start with nothing, homeless. 12 years to get a four year degree from the university. Start with nothing. If you are willing to grind, you might be an ant. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources. But there's no excuse. You said, E.T., I'm not that lion. You might be the ant. And the ant has very little, but he's determined. He's strong. He has a dream and a goal, and he'll do whatever it takes. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. The longer you're going to have to stay up. The bigger your dream is, the more effort you're going to have to put in. I think is a better advantage than being born into something, being born into nothing. I'm on the record. Kobe Bryant doesn't sit there and talk about how many MVPs he's won or how many championships he's won. No, he's up at three o'clock in the morning practicing every day. Why do you think he is so great? He's not great because he's great. He's great because he puts the work in on a daily basis and he wins every day. The difference between who you are and what you are. And what I am when I step on that court is you know, I become that. I'm relentless, you know, and I, I want to win, and, and I want to win by any means necessary, and uh, that's when that demon comes out. <laughs> See so many people going through their life with this overwhelming feeling of either A, the world owes me something, or B, the world hates me. And the reality is it's neither. The world owes you nothing. The world doesn't think you're special like your mom does. It doesn't think you're a delicate little flower. It doesn't care about you. Now, with that being said, the world doesn't hate you. It doesn't want you to fail. It just is. And if you wanna be truly successful in life, you have to be selfless and you have to understand that being selfless and being of service to other people is the only true way to find long-term success. What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from seven. I've always said that I wanted to be remembered as a player that didn't waste a moment, didn't waste a day.